what sort of country allows such moral decadence to the level where you have lowered the threshold of sexual intercourse to 10-year-olds and 8-year-olds and it becomes business as usual? But as Senator Ndwiga says, what responsibility have we taken? In my case, Mr. Speaker, let me tell you, I have a relative who I got into life imprisonment for impregnating a standard six school child in my village. In the last one year, we have not had a case of uh, any person looking at a schoolgirl, just looking. <laughs> but I have instances, like that particular instance, I discovered the chief, the OCS, the family were negotiating, land had been sold, they had agreed to pay 200000 I am watching brief in a case in Machakos. They are offering now to marry the child so that, so that they can deal with the question of defilement. Police stations, my dear senators, have turned, become shops where policemen are doing cases on rape and defilement. They determine, and the quantum is 200,000, you pay, forget about it, parents are making money out of this. Parents are equally to blame. How does a child become pregnant, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, when the stomach is this big, and then we start making noise? Teachers, I have refused in my law firm to represent anybody who commits incest, sleeps with a child. I don't represent them, and neither does any lawyer in my firm represent such characters. When I, we read the statistics, Mr. Speaker, these are statistics of pregnant teenagers. Just statistics. If Narok, you have 40%, those are statistics of pregnant teenagers, not the ones who are having sex. It means there are more. It's not a laughing matter. It's a serious issue. Children, are, children of 10 years have become fair game. Shame on the men of this country. We have lowered the standards of morality. We buy sweets. We buy so many incentives. The ones in Makweni. And you're not talking about the children, who have been, the boys who have been sodomized. While we talk about girls, they are boys who have been sodomized. I've gotten somebody arrested for sodomizing nine boys in Mboni constituency. Mr. Speaker, let's take action. Let's deal, start with ourselves. What have you done as a leader to ensure that you do not have this in your village? Any person, whether it's your relative, your brother, send them to jail. That is the only way they will learn the lessons. It's not enough, Mr. Speaker, to stand here and, and pontificate and make so much noise because these things are happening in your villages. If it's 40% in Narok, 33 in Homer Bay, chances are out of the 40%, one of those people is your relative, is your cousin, long distance, something. Let's take action and come here with tangible results.